CBS News has confirmed that members of President Trump's legal team have had concerns about Jared Kushner's role as senior White House advisor. The Wall Street Journal first reported that the lawyers considered recommending that his son-in-law leave. They were worried about his June 2016 meeting with the Russian lawyer and Donald Trump Jr. But Kushner remains in the White House, even as other advisors have departed. Those departures include former chief strategist Steve Bannon. He was reportedly at odds with Jared Kushner. In our 60 Minutes interview, Bannon shared his thoughts on Kushner and the factions within the administration. So you're saying H.R. McMaster and Jared uh, Kushner and Ivanka Trump, even though they opposed views that you had on climate and on the Paris Accord, yes. they have your full support. And you hope they're there in the White House sticking up for what they believe in. Absolutely. I think Jared and Ivanka and you are hope they stay at the uh, White by House. Way, I think they're terrific people. I, they, we, on the well, campaign. It's not about the people. No, 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 it's about way, ideas, influence within and, the White House. By the way, in their ideas, as long as it's counterbalanced by the Peter Navarros and the Stephen Millers and more of the economic nationalists, I think we'll be fine. As long, but I do believe, and I've told the president this, and the president knows this, that if he goes to his default position and goes and follows what he ran on and what he believes in the core of his being, okay, not only is he going to have a massively successful first term, he's going to win a second term by a much bigger majority than he won the first, and I think over 400 electoral votes. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is firing back at Steve Bannon for something he said in our interview. Christie rejected Bannon's version of events following the release of the Access Hollywood video during the campaign. Mr. Trump was heard using bold language about women. Bannon said Christie was told to be on the campaign plane at a certain time as a show of support, but failed to show up. Christie said that the so-called plane ultimatum never happened. He also said he was offered cabinet positions that he turned down. Mm, so a little he said, he, he said. said. The plot thickens. Who to believe? Yeah, I, I heard think... Chris Christie said the other day, I've got very broad shoulders. I've heard from people. I've taken on things from people far tougher than Steve Bannon. Yeah. Who I to think, believe? I think he said something like, too, I hope he enjoys his 15 minutes of fame. Well, well smack talk. Well, yeah. smack talk, yeah. Well, I think he told you, Steve Bannon, that I'm a street fighter. This is called a story that has legs. Yes, and that continues. It is a gift that keeps on giving. Sure there will be more of Charlie's interview tonight on his PBS program. It's called The Charlie Rose Show.